Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about population genetics and in this video I'm going to explain how to solve problems using Hardy-Weinberg formula and here is the problem. In a certain population the dominant phenotype of certain trait occurs at 91% of the time. What is the frequency of the dominant allele? And uh, if you feel that you can solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So in order to solve this problem, everything we have to know, we have to know how to apply Hardy-Weinberg formula. And here is the formula. So frequency of the genotypes and phenotypes um, equals to P squared plus 2 P Q plus Q squared and um, P here is the frequency of the dominant allele and Q uh, frequency of the recessive allele so all the uh, and also this all equals to 1 so uh, all the alleles P plus all the alleles Q would equal to 1. And uh, 1 in this scale would equal to 100%. So all the dominant alleles P plus all the recessive alleles Q, if we combine uh, them all together, we should get 100%. So we told that the uh, dominant phenotype so dominant phenotype would be these two genotypes uh, equal to 91 percent so to 91 percent that means that this recessive genotype and phenotype would make another nine percent and on this scale where 1 equals to 100, that means that 9% going to be 0 0.09 frequency and these uh, two genotypes would equal to 0 0.91. So this is frequency of two genotypes that make um, dominant phenotype. Now in order to solve this problem we have to use this number here because uh, this number here uh, we cannot uh, define whether it is uh, composition uh, whether it is made by dominant uh, homozygous genotype or heterozygous genotype but here we can say that this is um, homozygous recessive genotype and because we know that uh, q squared equals to 0 0.09 we can say that q would equal to 0 0.3 so this is occurrence of the recessive allele q so now uh, according to this uh, formula here if we know q we can find p so 1 minus 0 0.3 3 give us 0 0.7 or we can say that occurrence of the p would equal to 70 percent so q would equal to 30 percent and p to 70 percent once again our question what is the frequency of the dominant allele and here is uh, our answer. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.